Hello, I'm Lee. Um, I'm a mason, and uh, I want to show you step by step how to build a fireplace. We're going to build it right here on this pad. This fireplace uh, calls for a 42 inch opening, which we got a 42 inch damper right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark exactly where the fireplace is going to go and uh, make the size of it to fit this damper. next step is what I've done here is built a solid pad for the start of my firebox floor which will be out of fire brick and I'll show you here in a little bit but what I've done is built it high enough to where the hearth will come up about this high up about high enough to sit on and uh, like I said now it's ready for the fire brick right now I'm laying the floor of the fire uh, box itself and uh, what we use is, is a fire brick. This is a fire brick now. These fire brick are real hot. And what I mean by hot, that they're a real dry brick. And they're hard to lay when they're this dry. So if you step up here, look and shine in. What we do is, is uh, soak them in water for a few seconds. As you can see, they, they boil in there and they're soaking up that water. And it makes them a lot easier to lay. So after you've laid it, after you've gotten it wet, what I've done is, is lay a brick on each side, lay this out the way you want it, and uh, keep these bonds straight right here. You can see a mark right there that I've got, and a mark right here that I've got, and I've laid those two end ones. And then I level them off with a level just like this, all the way across where it stays level as you go on both sides. Then I pull that string there, because that saves level work. You can just follow the string and uh, it should all be leveled. What I do is I just put some mud down here for this brick right here. Put a little bit. And uh, let me remind you, this mud needs to be kind of on the wet side. Even though these are wet, they're still hard to lay because uh, they're still a little bit dry. They'll still soak up that water. So what I do is I butter one side. We call it buttering. Butter one side. And then put on a head joint, just like that. And just put it in here and take your time. Squeeze it against this next one here. Gotta have a hammer ready. Uh, it makes it a little easier with a hammer. And just tap it down. You want it flush on this side and to the line on that side. You don't want to be touching your line because it'll start getting off a little bit. Just stay away from your string just a little bit. Just like that, remove the mud and you're ready to lay the next one. Do the whole floor just like that. Well, I've uh, finished laying the fire box floor. Now, to clean up those mortar joints, what we, what I always use is a um, anchor bolt, or it's called a J-bolt. Just like that, and use the round edge on it. What you want to do is just go uh, over all these joints, just like this. Just like that. Then when you're through, striking all the mortar joints and take a dry piece of carpet and go over it and see all these smears on here it takes all those smears off of it <clears throat> cleans it up real good makes it into a nice uh, brick fireplace floor right there now this fireplace calls for a 42 inch opening and so for a 42 inch opening, you need a 42 inch damper, which we have right here. So on my fireplace floor, what I do is find center. And half of 42 is 21. So you just put your uh, ruler on 21 here in the center, make a mark here and a mark on 42. So now you have 42 on this mark because we're fixing to build the fire, uh, the fire walls on both sides. What I've done is made a little template, just a little bit out of square. It doesn't really matter how much of an angle 
about like that's real good. So what I do is I put this on the straight edge, this long one here, and find my mark. And what I'll do is, is make my mark all the way back. And then I'll turn it over and do the same thing on this side. Now both angles are the same. As you can see, I've started my firewall on one side. Of course, there'll be two of them, one on the other side. But uh, as you can see, the uh, back wall is starting to curve a little bit. And uh, what that does is the fire will catch that back wall and curve up and shoot up the flue liner so you don't have any smoke coming in your house. So to get that curve, uh, I've made a template. And you need a curve pretty close to like this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. Uh, and you can make this from 20 inches to 27 to 30 inches deep. However, uh, it depends on how big of a firebox you want. And approximately 30 inches tall. And what I do is I'll, I'll lay this course here and then put my template where it's flush right here and flush right here. Then I'll take a brick lay it right here like I want it and make a mark right there and that's my next cut. You just continue that all the way up. Okay, now that we have our two side firewalls done, we're working on the back uh, firewall. Now to do that, um, all you do is follow what you've done here with your brick wall. You just come on around and remember to leave a uh, space for a mud joint right here and right here on these and then you fill those in as you go up which I'll show you right here just fill that in just like that as you go up and uh, when you're laying these take your time if you have to lay one brick at a time and level it it's better to do that and uh, than it is to have to tear it back down and redo it. But just take your time. I can't stress that enough. All right, I've got all three firewalls built up. Next step was to put these uh, uh, damper on there toward the front of the firebox. And what I did in the back here is that I laid them all up until a, a brick will reach standing up to the damper, and then you lay all those across it or catch the damper. And now we're ready to lay brick all the way around the firebox. What I'm doing here is I'm making a double wall around this firebox that I've already built. The inside wall is going to eventually be for this flue line right here. What I'm going to do is keep running this inner wall right here and then start stepping in until I'm the size of this flue liner and then I can set the flue liner on there. Now since this is going to be a rock fireplace, I've done this outer wall right here which you want to keep pretty straight. Uh, so you can have something to measure off of to keep your rock going straight up and down. And what I've done every now and then is put these wall ties in here. That'll tie the brick to the rock. Keep it a lot stronger and keep it from ever moving. Now around here in front, you want to be sure to keep this, this wall that's not going to be seen flush with this fire box right here because eventually we're going to lay rock on the outside of this right here and you don't want nothing in the way of your rock. And again, keep your wall ties coming up and, and so you can tie your rock to your brickwork.
it's really important to keep your brick wall real straight because that's how straight your rock's going to be according to what you've done with your brickwork. Now to do that, what I do is build both corners up and then run a string in the middle. And I'll show you how to run one course here. Spread the mud first. Like that. You want to butter your brick just like that. Push it up against that one. Cut off the mud. That way you know you're flush right here. And again. Like that. And we're tailing out three brick right here. Plenty good. Now what you want to do first. First thing you want to do is level. Just like that. Look at your bubble, it needs to come down here. There it is, it's level right there. Now, the next thing is, is to plumb, to plumb, which is vertical, both sides. I'm gonna keep this straight, plumb this one. Just like that. Bubbles in the middle, going straight up. And then after that, you want a straight edge. From end to end. And then you just continue that on up. And keep stair stepping up until you run out of room. As you brick around your firebox, you need to plug in your hole on top of your firebox as well. And to do that, I've come up and crossed over it with a piece of angle iron so I can bridge across it and continue this on up. And every day after you get through working, it's wise to check the damper, make sure it still opens and closes. A lot of times mortar will get in there and you find out the next day you can't open it. So check it every day when you're done. Now what I've done with the inside of this fireplace, of course none of this shows, but a lot of chimneys will go straight up. But this particular fireplace has a step in and the chimney gets smaller. So what I've done up there is, is make a mark with a straight edge and a level to figure out where that wall is going to be when I get that high. So to lay rock, you're going to have to have something to lay rock on. That's what these two walls are for. This wall here is for the back wall. When, when you start seeing it, I'll start laying rock on it. But you got to have something to set your rock on when you get that high. Now this here, I started wrapping that firebox and stepping my brick in and keep stepping it in because we're going to be putting a flue liner on there here in just a minute. If you look inside here, you can see kind of how I've stepped it all in. The front side of the firebox, above the damper, I started stepping in, but I kept the back wall straight up. So if it ever rains, now we've got uh, everything pretty well caught up in here. Of course, we'll keep stacking our flue liners up, and I'm running two petitions on both sides of the flue liner to stabilize the flue liner because it's going to go real tall up there. Now I have the back wall from the back of my chimney and I have the two side walls for the two sides of my chimney as it steps in. Now we're ready to go down and lay rock. Now you're going to have to run a string down from your corners for your rock work down there. In order to do that I've made a jig here out of just two befores. You can see just a one to set on top of the brick one to go on one side of the brick and one to go on the other and I've measured out five inches both ways here and all this does is slip on your brick wall just like that and you weight it down with a rock or something and you just pull a string down from this all the way down to your first rock 